Hey guys, welcome to the show. We are on the way to the airport right now. Uh, we're going to fly over a, an area in New Mexico called the Cowboy, Cowboy Wilderness. It's an area in New Mexico that is public land that is pretty much landlocked by private property. So uh, we can't get to it. It's public land we can't get to. Uh, there is currently an, uh, a bill that Martin Heinrich uh, has uh, introduced. It's called the Hunt Act. And uh, I'll give you guys more detail on that later. But basically what it's supposed to do is it's going to try to open up public land uh, so public people can get on it or normal people can get on it. All this property is landlocked. There's a whole bunch of uh, stipulations around this Hunt Act. Um, I'll give you the details later, but it's a pretty good deal. So we're going to fly over the Cowboy Wilderness here in southwestern New Mexico. Uh, there's some pretty good mule deer out there, some awesome coos deer country, but we can't get to it. So uh, part of this program is just going to be to uh, to help get uh, awareness to the Hunt Act. Hopefully you guys will call your, your people and make sure that they vote for it. Uh, right now we've got some pretty decent bipartisan support. Uh, there's a few people that aren't supported in New Mexico, and uh, I'll get back with you on those names. But again, thanks for watching. Uh, next time you see us, we'll be at the airport. Take care. I'll let you read the uh, following talking points, but if you are a person of the outdoors, you know that there is a ton of awesome public land that is absolutely landlocked. Hey guys, welcome back. So uh, now we're in the little plane. I don't think they'll be serving peanuts on this trip, but that's all right. Uh, Everyone's getting loaded up. We're trying to figure out a game plan of where we want to see. But uh, getting ready to go. Uh, see you from either the runway or maybe from the air. We'll see. If you have a landing for every takeoff, we're good. I don't know if you heard that, but that was Bruce Gordon, our pilot. Uh, he said, if you have a landing for every takeoff, you're doing pretty good. And I tend to agree with him. Actually, uh, the organization that helped us fly was uh, echoflight.org. Uh, they go around the country basically highlighting issues that are important to sportsmen and conservationists. Again, that's echoflight.org. For those of you that don't recognize it, that rim is that of the Cowboy Springs Wilderness, some of the most remote country in the world and very difficult to get into. The Hunt Act, as currently introduced, is a four-pronged process of getting access to this public land. Step one is permanent funding without increases in spending. Basically, 1.5% uh, of the Land and Water Conservation Fund um, would be used to purchase easements and rights of way. Step two is a systematic approach to quantify the problem. Basically, any federal lands over 640 acres that do not have access would need to be identified. Once these properties have been identified, agencies are then going to need to come up with a plan to get access to that property. And finally, land management agencies would also be required to maintain a list of existing primary access routes for hunters, anglers, and other recreational users for all blocks of federal public land more than 640 acres. One of the great things about this flight is we got to fly over the big hatchets. Recently, the BLM, in response to sportsmen, reopened the south end of the big hatchets and the Alamo Huerco Mountains. One of the common questions I'm getting is, is this an effort to allow OHVs in the wilderness? And the answer to that is no, this is not an attempt to allow OHVs into wilderness areas. So now the question is, what can you do? Well, to be honest, we've had some pretty good bipartisan support. The big question right now is Steve Pierce. He hasn't come out one way or the other. So give him a call. Tell him how you feel about the Hunt Act. Also call Martin Heinrich and tell him thank you for supporting this bill. 
If you're not a resident of New Mexico, you still can be heard. Go to www.house.gov, contact your representative, and tell them how you feel about the Hunt Act.